Angel alert! With recent market shifts and closures of some reverse mortgage companies, SunWest remains over 40 years strong and a long-standing leader in reverse mortgage lending. We're here for you and for your borrowers. At SunWest, we understand how important it is to meet your clients' expectations. So why not exceed them by closing their reverse loan fast? Go to heckam.swmc.com for all the information you'll need to use our simple tools, submit your reverse mortgage loans for immediate approval, and make your originations fast. If you'd like to learn more about reverse mortgage loans and why they're so popular in today's market, join us on Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific for a live anonymous webinar. Go to heckam.swmc.com for more information. See you Friday. Welcome to The Interest, I'm Sarah Wolak. We told you yesterday about Rocket elevating two top executives to higher roles. But the company isn't just looking to promote from within to find success. Rocket's always looking for new ventures that expand its revenue sources. But as it expands, where does one of the nation's top mortgage lenders see itself in the future? Mortgage Banker Magazine writer Katie Jensen had the chance to ask CEO Jay Farner in an exclusive interview. So I think Amazon is a great blueprint for where you're seeing Rocket headed. As the market slows down, companies across the mortgage industry are trying to shore up their finances. For some, that means layoffs, leaving channels, and other cuts. For rocket companies, it means leaning on their recent expansions, both vertically within the finance sector and horizontally into other ventures. I wake up this morning and I can save $50 by refinancing my car loan. I should be able to press a button and because of the data that Rocket has, by tomorrow, I should start receiving savings on that car loan. Key pieces of Rocket's plan include other fintech services, like Rocket Money and Rocket Auto, ways to keep bringing customers back for financial needs. Now think about a world where we're uh, going, to, going to be double or triple that size in terms of clients who have a Rocket account, who are engaging with us through all of these different platforms. But Rocket has other ways to bring in customers. For example, selling clothes and shoes on StockX. Rocket CEO Farner sees these moves as comparable to how Amazon continues to add different services for its users. There's an opportunity, much like Amazon, to offer other related services. And that's exactly what we're doing as we talk about Rocket Money and Rocket Rewards and and Rocket Loans and Rocket Homes. Analysts say that sets Rocket up to survive while other lenders struggle to find business in a shrinking market and a price war in wholesale. We think Rocket is a survivor, long-term survivor, and is probably going to grow and, and take some share as other companies. Just it's hard to compete right now for purchase business. Still, Farner says mortgages will remain a staple of Rocket's plans. For starters, it's another way to engage consumers and bring them back. Uh, we'd like to reach the client everywhere we, we can, and it may be through a broker, it may be through a partner bank. You can read more from our exclusive interview with Farner in the latest issue of Mortgage Banker magazine, available now at mortgagebankermag.com. For the Mortgage News Network, I'm Katie Jensen. Thanks, Katie. In other news, Redfin says that concessions are making a comeback as housing demand has cooled, which is giving buyers the power to do some negotiating. Home sellers gave concessions to buyers in nearly 42% of home sales during the fourth quarter. Concessions were especially popular in Phoenix, Arizona, where nearly 63% of home sales included concessions, and in San Diego, which saw concessions in 73% of homes. Coming up, the VA loan process is getting streamlined. Morgan of SunWest Mortgage is here to change the world of loan originations forever. From sending updates to your clients to allowing you more time, you can do it all in a simple chat. You no longer have to struggle with documents. All you need to do is select the files and upload them, and they're submitted in an instant along with your loan file. With SunWest, your true home is always within. Welcome back. We're in for some changes to the VA loan process thanks to a new law signed by President Biden just before the new year. The head of the VA will have to update the requirements around appraisals, including when one is required and how it should be completed. The VA has 90 days to come up with new rules, which should also dictate how veterans can get an appraisal waiver or desktop waivers. 
For desktop waivers, those requirements should weigh cost savings and take into account whether a traditional appraisal jeopardizes a borrower's chances of completing the transaction. The VA began allowing desktop and exterior-only appraisals over the summer. We reached out to the VA for comment, but so far the agency has not responded. And finally, 2022 was a challenging year. You worked hard, and you got it done. It's time to celebrate your achievements. Nominate yourself or someone you know to be recognized in NMP Magazine's 2023 Class of Leading LOs, Top Originators. All originator and broker nominations are welcome. A minimum of $50 million in loan volume or 50 total units is recommended. Winners will be showcased in the April 2023 issue of National Mortgage Professional Magazine and on the show. To apply, go to nmplink.com forward slash leading LOs. We'll be right back with what else is interesting. I had to watch him go from so capable to a different person altogether, and it was really hard. We're hoping that this message gets to veterans out there who are in similar search struggles. That's how fast Southwest worked. It was truly amazing. It makes me very happy to know that there's a company out there that cares so much that they go through so much to help because we never expected this, never. SunWest understands that your success is built one family at a time. Visit sunwestpartners.com. Welcome back. Here's what else is interesting today. Mortgage applications fell heavily in the past two weeks to the lowest level in 26 years. The NBA says applications fell over 13% from two weeks ago to close out 2022. That's 42% lower than this week one year ago. The refinance index, which was adjusted for the holiday, decreased over 16% during the same time period. Refinance applications are 87% lower than a year ago when mortgage rates were around 3%. For more on these and all of today's top stories, visit MortgageNewsNetwork.com.